Um, yeah, good evening, everybody. First, I'd like to congratulate uh, Jaden Reed on his first MLS uh, start, as well as his first assist uh, in MLS, as well as um, Michael Wenzel. Uh, he's appeared for us before in the Champions Cup, but the MLS uh, debut, the number one, is a big thing for him. Um, yeah, and Roman saves his first penalty. He's getting closer, you know, we're getting closer. <laughs> so the soccer gods aren't with us um, as of late. Uh, we keep on pushing, we keep on keeping the spirits high um, and we're moving on. Uh, I thought the, the support was awesome tonight. I thought it was fantastic. Um, and just the acknowledgement of the fans after the game when we did the round. Uh, very supportive, very embraceive of what, uh, of what we're trying to do here. Um, so I appreciate them for that. Um, and then, yeah, it's been a tough couple of weeks. Uh, so, you know, get the batteries recharged now and uh, we look forward to a Vancouver trip. Coach, Thank you. Steve. Coach, uh, Indiana didn't start Wednesday. Is this the kind of reaction you expected out of him? He was a monster. Yeah, Indy through no, uh, not through performance wise or not through, uh, you know, just trying to manage the loads uh, in each individual game and just trying to push guys in different ways. Um, you know, so I don't, uh, it's not performance related. It's just uh, personnel related, uh, tactical relation, you know, and uh, trying to get him uh, a breather here and there. So he puts in tons of work in training, puts in tons of work on game days. So, um, and again, uh, it brought the desired effect. Yeah. Were you happy with the offense tonight? You created some chances. You yeah, were you really were on happy. Your front foot. Um, I thought we created a lot of moments through through the lines. I thought uh, we could have been cleaner in transition a little bit. Uh, some wayward passes. Uh, can we connect in the final third? Can we connect on the weak side? Can we play vertical in the red zones? So I thought we missed a couple of crucial moments. But having said that, we had a ton of looks and, you know, we had some really nice moments. I thought Edu Leuven was also excellent tonight. Um, and just his willingness to defend in the 94th, 95th minute, a sprint at full pace to do what's best for the team. And that just shows what kind of teammate he is. So, um, you know, I thought I saw many positives tonight. Um, and we'll take these away for sure. Charlie? Hey, coach. Um, hey, Charlie. Stats show that... Pardon me. Stats show that... Uh... Berkey saved uh, just over two goals above expected. Single-handedly, I mean, not single-handedly, but was a big piece in keeping you guys in the game. Could you speak on how he's been performing lately? Yeah, really good. I mean, he's on a good uh, pathway. I mean, yeah. He knows what happened last week, Wednesday, or this past Wednesday. Um, and he was the first guy out on the training field on Thursday morning. So, you know, he's professional enough to to put those away in the, in the trash can, but... He's honest enough to to know and lift his hat where it's needed and, and uh, you know, take steps forward as a leader. And today he was back to his usual self um, and, and very crucial, like critical moments, you know. Could we have put the game to bed away earlier? I think yes. Uh, we hit the crossbar. We have a couple moments. We have some penalty calls. You know, there's a few things uh, that we are really pushing um, in the final third. Uh, Nukfi has a breakaway. You know, Edu slips him through in a 1v1. Uh, you know, Brad comes out and makes a good save. So, you know, we had enough positive looks and, and that's all I want to see from my group is just the willingness to get in behind, the willingness to create, the willingness to move the line at the back, to keep it compact and connected. Um, and I saw a lot of good things. I saw a, a good team spirit before the game. Uh, even at halftime, there was good constructive moments. Um, so I saw a very energized, gelled group together um, fighting for each other. And this is a very important sign for me. And then Roman is the guy that, you know, at the back on the last line makes big saves um, for us to give us hope going forwards. Coach Jade Reed gets called up today and then immediately makes the start. How far in advance did you kind of decide that he was going to be in the lineup today? And then how do you think he did? Because he had a lot of action, especially in the early moments. Yeah, we've had some big weeks with uh, a lot of our players. We've been short on defenders in in, in certain aspects. You know, we have Joachim, uh, we have Josh pushing minutes and getting overloads. We have Kai, um, Kai Hebert absent. We have Akil Watts pushing minutes and... You know, we, we see a lot of intensity in our games um, and we see a lot of moments where guys, you know, to, to roll back defenders, just look at Totland, you know, he ran out of gas today as well. So, you know, we, we knew this on Thursday morning that this could be a potential um, to put, put Jay in. Uh, so we made all the necessary arrangements. We know we can call him up twice. Uh, we know he's had some MLS experience as well. Uh, we know he plays in our principles. We know he's doing a great job at City too. So for us, it was a no-brainer. Was that as simple as, you know, seeing his City 2 performances and just knowing that he'd be able to step in and kind of do that similar role? Yeah, we, I mean, we train very, very similarly. Uh, we play in the same intensity. We, He comes from a, a background that stylistically suits his game. He's the quickest player in the club, hands down. Um, so, yeah, he, he has moments to iron out. If there's anything to iron out on the back line, it's totally normal and natural to be 
getting cramps, you know, in the 95th, 98th minute or whatever it was, um, totally normal, totally natural. But, you know, that he went and lasted so long did surprise me. Um, and, and yeah, we are, we are on the right track with Jay. Please. I'm wondering, um, season's five months old or five months young, depends who, how do you want to review it, but how do you assess the first five months, how the team can break from dying games and now winning games? Sure. Yeah. It's a step, right? It's a step and it's building blocks. And while we're trying to create more in the final third, and I think we've progressed, uh, in the final third a lot um you know and uh for sure when you tie games it's mean you it means you're in the games it means you can win the games today we were leading and unfortunately it doesn't go our way we get you know a strange pk call and we have to accept that we can't control any outcome of the referees or any circumstances we just have to accept and move on and and you know have the mentality if we concede one we score two um, and today I saw a group that was hungry and showed desire to score the second. Um, and we kept things uh, safe and sound in many moments as needed, despite two new guys in our back line from City 2. So we look at growth in, in small fractions. And I saw incremental growth, uh, especially on the back line with two new guys uh, who were new to our group. So, yeah, um, it's, it's a process. It's a journey. Not as desired, for sure, uh, as the first 18, 19 games. Um, but again, we know we have a bridge to gap here until July 18th, and then we can receive Jake uh, Goodwood Reich. We can get um, uh, Cedric Teuchert uh, in, the, in the building as well. He arrives pretty soon in, in a couple of days, actually, so he can be connected with us in training. Um, and and that will give us just the edge and the energy we need um, and, and give a bit of freshness around here. Thank you. Uh, just following up on, on, on Jaden, just how impressive was it? And was there a thought process when he picks up the yellow to, to maybe sub in a Mark Hanek or Watts? And, and just how impressive was it for him to you know finish out the last 30 minutes of his first ever MLS start on a yellow? Yeah, I don't, I mean, I don't look too much into that. These guys have good experiences, you know, then they know what's needed. And Jake, you know, yeah, I mean, I never want to compare, you know, I was a quick play on the back line. So if you do get yourself in a pickle, you have the pace to at least get back without having to make the the crazy fouls, right? To to move your feet quickly, stay on your feet. Brooks Lennon is a really good uh, overlapping wing back. He's one of the best, if not the best crosser in the league. Um, so Jay had his hands full and I thought he dealt with it really, really well. So um, credit to him, credit to City 2 staff himself, developing in the right way, being open-minded um, to grow within our City 2 uh, program. Um, and now, you know, the platform's open for competition. You know, I've just spoken to all the defenders. Competition is a good thing. You know, it keeps us all hungry, keeps the desire there. We can't rest on what we've done, you know, a few weeks ago. Um, and, and making sure that we keep guys, you know, really edgy and, and wanting to perform the best that they can in training. In, in early, you talked about, you know, being happy with the, the amount you guys were pushing the back line uh, offensively. That that It seemed to slow down a little bit around the 60-minute mark. You know, what what were they doing to kind of slow down and take away those runs on the back line? Yeah, so, I mean, they started floating Zander Silver um, in the half space. Uh, so, you know, with our orientation, always very connected, always, uh, yeah, our sixes were over-connected at times. So, you know, I just asked Durkin just to open up the shoulder a little bit just to see because Michael Wenzel likes to step in, but sometimes you have to shift and, and get across on the back line. And then they work the ball across one more time and then find Silver. Um, and I think you saw it one play, he turns Michael, Michael arrives too late. And then all of a sudden it's a pass, pass, weak side, and Roman comes up big for us so you know i think that was some of the things from the second half that we had to uh, mitigate as the game went on coach kind of touching on that formation shift Caden glover comes in for his longest uh appearance i think especially here at city park he sure. hasn't made an appearance in the first team how do you feel like he did in those moments you're chasing the lead at that point it was a big performance for him yeah for us not to chase the lead and get out of shape you know, for us, the discipline in, in our organizational structure against the ball is very key. Um, yeah, so we knew as we had to make changes, we had to push Edu in the 10. You know, we brought on some fresh legs with uh, Jabula Blom. Um, yeah, but I thought Caden kept it to one side. He did exactly as we asked him to do. Uh, he had a couple of nifty touches. He could have scored on a set piece, you know, where, yeah, he just volleys it over the bar. So he got really close a few times and uh, it looked like he enjoyed himself. You know, he's smiling after the game. So these are big moments for us as a club. These are big moments for us, you know, as, as, as a part of a program, even when it's not going our way to make sure we believe in our process. Um, and this is very important. And uh, yeah, we love we love having these guys around us and uh, yeah, to see them embracing the challenge and taking on and, and you know, creating competition with our group. It's good. Go back to Matt. 
seemed like this was easily the most comfortable that Nukvi's looked since he since he arrived here last year. Can you like did you see an improvement in his game and where 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 is that where did that come from? You think? Yeah, so there's two things to it, right? So one thing is training time and one thing is game time. You know, so yeah, we, we need to keep on pushing Nukvi in the right way in terms of, you know, training in the right way, which he does, right? And then getting to moments as he does do with, with the 1v1 opportunity, right? Because in training, he's really good at finishing those. In training, it's really clinical, right? So um, we keep on trying to push the needle with that. And then now it's game time under stress. Um, and, and you could see him growing after every game. So, you know, the more minutes and, and you kind of, yeah, when it's not going quite your way and you give him five minutes and we expect a miracle. And yeah, so sometimes, you know, I have to look at myself and see how much game time I'm giving Nukvi because, you know, throwing him in here five minutes there is not doing him any favors because, yeah, we need to push him in training and then give him game time. So, you know, we always, yeah, we always... Uh, sort of suggest guys maybe keep sharp at City too, right? So we can't force any players to do these things. Um, and and yeah, sometimes it just takes longer in terms of the development process within our game model, within our philosophy. So, you know, we'll keep on pushing Nukvi along, but if he uses his opportunities, you know, wisely, and he did so today, he pushed himself to, to his max and he, he had a couple of good looks, which is very, very good for us. It's a good starting point. Time for two more. Oh, I thought one of the best plays, especially early on, was uh, Jose uh, settling that ball off the rebound and then getting the pass in into Klaus. It seems like his calmness and his decision making is, is such a crucial part that has been added to this team. Is there a way that you guys can maybe get him more involved and more touches throughout the game? Yeah, so it was deliberate to get him between those two lines, um, between their defensive three um, and their two sixes. Uh, you know, and I think we, we got a couple of looks and exactly what we needed. But don't forget, he's not a 10, yeah. right? So he's a six. But we've seen great things. We've played him as a 10 in preseason against LAFC. We've uh, pushed the needle now in the last couple of games and we've seen great things because he's got that calmness to connect. So we, we continue to encourage him. We continue to, you know, work with him individually. We continue to show him video. We, we continue to, you know, push the needle there because we see a lot of opportunities we see a lot of uh, talent um, especially there under under pressure under stress he has that calmness about him he shields the ball really well um, and and he has the eye on the weak side to find the Klaus um, so yeah I mean uh, as far as projected um, I think he's doing excellently you know